guys, welcome back. We are once again, I just feel like I keep saying that, but we're, we're back at the Pleasant View Museum. And as you can see, we have moved on to cow plants. Also, this is a test to see if you can hear my dryer in the background. It's not a super long video, so I'm hoping that if it's ruined, I won't be angry. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I wanted to do a cow plant specific room in my little headcanon. Mortimer Goth definitely was involved with the cow plant creation. Maybe discovery. I'm, he was involved with cow plants in some way that is significant enough to Pleasant View to have cow plants. I will leave it up to you as to what that you know, significance was. Also, it was sad. I thought this had a cow plant on it and it did not very upsetting and I was like well maybe I'll put it in the like, no no I already decided no Egyptian so yeah I've got these cow plant posters here because in my view the cow plant is at this point become like iconic like the Audrey of its time people know about it maybe you're not supposed to have them maybe everybody has lots of different rules about who can and can't have them no one knows but it's definitely in pop culture so I wanted to have all of my cow plant items in this room. This display case, while I think it is very, very pretty, is extremely difficult to make things snap to. And these two cow plant items don't like OMSPs, so I was just suffering a lot here. <laughs> I will, I will say. Also, those little tiny baby cow plants, they're not real. It's okay, they could be in a glass case. <laughs> I like the idea that they're just like a sculpture of rare conjoined cow plants twins. I, I don't know. I don't know how plants work. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what else I do because I know I don't just do plants in this video. Also, I'm adding adding things here and there. You might notice things kind of in the background that are a little bit different than they had been before. And that's just because I keep changing things. That's how I roll. So I wanted to get a table to put these things on because I'm like, okay, well, they won't go on an OMSP. I'll just put them on a separate table. It'll be fine. Yet they don't like to slot to tables or desks or end tables or anything. And I was getting real mad. I was like, there has to be an OMSP. There has to be one. Well, there is. There is one OMSP they apparently like, and that is my beloved walkthrough block. I don't know why but that's just, that's what, that's what they wanted to go on. Also, I was annoyed because the door was like throwing off my group here. So I was trying to figure out, okay, well, if I can put them on a walkthrough block, I know the walkthrough blocks will slot to an end table. What kind of end table am I gonna do? I did settle on these. I think they look a little bit modern, but still clean and museum-esque. So I was comfortable with putting them in there. You can see I'm getting frustrated. I'm like, everything's in the way. And no, it was actually just the door being a jerk. So then I had to change course a little bit, but it does, it does work. I was going to do it this way. And then I was like, yeah, walk through block. I'm telling you the walk through block is the saving grace of the Sims, my Sims experience. I kept trying. I was just, I was convinced that I would find one. What I should have done is put it on the walkthrough block, but put like the number one OMSP there. I just wanted it to work so badly, but I actually found these other ones, these shiftable ones. I don't even remember where I got them. They worked. So the day was saved. I swear I had more cow plant CC as well, but I couldn't discern where that was. It happens. You download stuff and then you have no idea where it is in the catalog. It doesn't make sense. I need to actually set up modern collection folders, especially for my special interests, which include cow plants and the freezer bunny. It's necessary. So yeah, we got this little room. Putting the door where I did, or the open arch, did ruin the gallery wall I had initially kind of thought about putting in that big open space, but I still do save those pictures. 
trying to remember because I recorded all of this at once like a week ago and now I'm doing the voiceovers, which is a mistake, but I didn't have the time to do it right away. I've been trying not to place those too high, but sometimes it's unavoidable. And if the taxidermy museum in Tucson can place things super duper high, so can I. <laughs> As you can see, I'm saving in my paranoid way still. Oh, and I forgot to put light switches. I was, I was being really good about it and then I started to forget again. I didn't want too many like out in the open just because you don't want anybody to press them. But I did want some light switches. Again, it just adds, it's that little detail that adds to making it feel like a realistic space. And I put some more fire alarms. I've got sprinklers throughout as well. And those little exit signs. Because safety is important. I'm trying to, I want to guess ahead of time for what I'm doing, but I can't really remember. I do have this like in progress space because I've always wanted to set one up in a museum. And yeah, so that's what we have, that little, the space is in progress, but there's nothing actually there. Maybe they did a repair. The walls aren't painted. They've got the paint out. I just, it delights me. They've even got like the tarps on the walls so they don't ruin the walls that are not in that area. Yeah, we did experience some crashing, so things might be moved around. Not that I think anyone's like particularly making sure, hey, you moved that, but I feel the need to say it. Now this space was another one that was gonna be difficult because of the tree downstairs. I knew that going in, I knew there was gonna to have to be some sort of way to cover it. So I didn't wanna focus on that right away. I actually wanted to finish placing openings. Oh, the dog's throwing a tantrum. Yeah, I wanted to finish placing like the openings to the other exhibits and things. I had that empty room and I wasn't sure what was gonna go in it. So initially that was all going to be the child space, but that was too big. So then I just said, well, why don't I put the paranormal spot in there? Because as it stood, like the recycling and cleanup area was getting rather large. And I was like, it makes more sense for all of this to be in an enclosed room. There's a lot of wall hangings, not so much that's going to fit in a cabinet. Again, originally, well, there's a lot that would, but originally the paranormal section was just supposed to be like a tiny little Here's some funky cool stuff, but I have a lot of CC for it, so it's getting a room now. Yeah, I, I cut some of that because there was a lot. But this means we can now hopefully decorate this space here. I really wanted to use the propeller, but it, I do get rid of it. It makes me sad. And now I'm like, well, I want a tiny plum bug section with this light. At this point, I knew I didn't have any more Plum Bob CC and I didn't really want to install any. So I just put the light and the little guy there. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm moving around. And of course, we have all of the kind of general art gallery style art that I wanted to kind of smatter around just to fill the walls in a bit. Which again, it felt very real to the idea that this is keep saying homemade but it is kind of a homemade museum and they're like well we have this let's just put it over there Tammy's kid made it like you know just plunking stuff down maybe not necessarily thinking about what they're doing or how they're placing it or you know they didn't have enough for a room so they've just got this kind of general modern art and why not why not I think it turned out okay I liked it all together but I think separating it was fine I don't think it detracts from what I was trying to do. Ah, I remember what this is. Okay, so up here is like really specific to Pleasant View local events and people. I know we had the awards area downstairs, but that was very kind of general because they probably just had awards and no other information. Up here is more, we have a lot more information on what's up here. So as you can see, those Goopy pictures are featured. Goopy in 
my iteration of the uber hood is a trumpet player not because i wanted him to be but because i actually the footprint of the trumpet object i set down i couldn't grab it and so i had to put a wall in and i was like all right well that's what he's doing so right now i'm sorting it into like categories of like this is sports these are like loose objects this is music just so that i could better put it together i also had some duplicates at this point and i had forgotten but yeah this is just this is general spe yet specific i don't i don't know yeah this is me trying to grab the stupid trumpet and i try for a really long time before i realize i just i can't can't find the footprint can't find the footprint it was upset because i did not want that there i had actually decided not to use it actually but it's okay it's okay sometimes it happens sometimes that happens i even went and like got another one to like see if i could find the footprint and it almost became a problem but then i was able to just undo it i was like all right you know what yeah i tried for like 20 minutes Now it's the great narrow out, or narrow out, narrow down portion. What am I gonna keep? Which cabinets am I gonna display things in? So typewriter, maybe there's a local, you know, writer, <laughs> bowling shirt. The necklace, I, I like to think, belongs to Lilith, and maybe Lilith goes on to be a cool musician or whatever, and so they have one of her chokers. Same with, like, the baby shoes. Maybe someone local. Maybe it was the first person born at Pleasant View. Who knows? There's a new framed newspaper article. I like that as well. That quilt is not going to stay there, but I do keep it, because, again, maybe it won in the fair or something. I just like the idea that there's a little section dedicated to crafts. Uh, there's a little bit of a politics section this is really just a poster and I do relate that ATM to it because I like the idea that like oh, I'm tough on crime here's an ATM that was stolen that we got returned you know typical nonsense yeah here I am putting in the wall because I'm like well that's there forever now and I was like well these look like album covers this is gonna be the mu music area and goopy you play the trumpet I really liked this black and white one because it could have been like older Pleasant View. I do get rid of it because it doesn't end up fitting with everything else that I want to put on there. And yeah, Goopy won that record. Good job. I do keep the broken guitar because it, it's cool. And then that little guitar, I like the idea that maybe someone in Pleasant View designed that for the Omega whatever show that comes with Sims 4 when you have the the celebrity pack, I don't remember what it's called. I like the idea that maybe someone from Pleasant View specifically just designed that prop and they had an extra one. Over here is like the sports section. So we have sports jerseys, people that made it big and left Pleasant View and became sports stars. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do originally, but then I decided to keep it very simple. Cause a small town like this probably isn't gonna have a ton of huge stars. So I decided to just kind of one of each. I don't know how realistic that is, but that's what we ended up with. Because I knew I had a bunch of recolors of this specific, it's actually a Maxis shirt. And I don't use all of them. I don't use the soccer one because I didn't have a ball in a case. But I use all of the others. I was debating it and I'm like, oh, no, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, Pleasant View has had a basketball player, a baseball player, and two football players kind of thing. And then for this kind of corner, I just did the two. The jersey actually has the same numbers on it, so I like the idea that they have two from the same player. This, I just wanted to do like a simple counter, which wasn't as simple as I expected it to be, but we got through it we got through it and i like how this turned out like i knew from the beginning this sort of space would exist in the museum i just wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out and which sims were going to be kind of focused on i'm so bitter that those shelves are not adjustable as a side note because they're like floating shelves and they're perfect and they're not adjustable and it's very upsetting to me 
So yeah, I decided to do this, which we actually have downstairs as well in like the nature area. It just looks good and I also knew it would give me the slots that I wanted. It's not perfectly even, but it's fine. I'm trying to remember what else I kept here. I wanted to keep that uh, display board and the Cordelia statue because the Cordelia statue is on that display board and I just think it's funny. It's like maybe it was stolen at one point and returned. Again, the racehorse, maybe there was a luck racehorse that was born in Pleasant View. I decided this belonged closer to the little politics section. And yeah, so I put Cordelia kind of over there. It was just like a nice, cute little thing that I wanted to do. And then we're gonna have one more display case. I do keep the little Futurama heads of Bob and Betty Newbie just because it's funny to me. I don't know what those are supposed to represent. There's some downstairs of Bella and Mortimer as well. I'll leave that up to you, what you think those are. <laughs> and then the sculpture, um, like the head thing, that is, like there's a lot of local artists, so that's why that's there. The key is the key to the city. It was symbolically probably given to someone at one point. Sorry, I lost all train of thought. Ugh. Yeah, it was not my day for like slots and OMSPs, it will be said. And I already knew with this that I would have to recolor things ahead of time. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I'm happy with how it turned out. This is what I was hoping for and I feel like a broken rec record but you know it is true to the vision it is what I wanted and it turned out perfect I decided to put the Cordelia statue in a case just it made sense it's probably one of the few valuable items in this museum so it probably should be protected some lighting. I really like these. They light up the space very well without being intrusive. And they make sense for a museum type space. We're actually caught up with all the decorating that I've done. I don't know where I'm going to go next. I mean, by the time you watch this, because this is coming out on the 10th of March. I'm a little ahead of time again. But that's because I've got stuff coming up that I just try to be ahead in general, because if I'm sick or I don't feel good, and especially now that I'm stream gonna be streaming regularly, I wanna make sure that I'm still posting the videos that I want to post. So yeah, I'm ahead of time. So by the time you see this, I'll have moved on. But for now, I have not actually done any more work. I think I'm gonna work on the children's area next because I know that I really, really want to. But I might do the paranormal section since I know the gift shop. And there's also the gift shop storage room and then the science section, which is the largest, because even though we have Strange Strange Town, oh my god, I almost called it Strangerville, I still think that Pleasant View has a large scientific community. It's just different science. Oh, and we have the recycling area too. Anyways, let me know what you thought of this video, if you like it, if you like this idea, and you think have something like this in your hometown, and I will see you in the next one.